examples anilida arthropoda mollusca so these are the three phyla anilida phylum arthropoda phylum mollusca phylum are example for the schizocelomata okay na next let us go for another subdivision deuterostomia sir here protos means first stoma means mouth means blastopore developed into mouth so here blastopore developed into anus blastopore develops into anus okay so here deutero means secondary stoma means mouth sir sir blastos blastocele secondary opening develops into mouth primary opening develops into anus so deuterostoma secondary opening is mouth and primary opening is anus so that is a deuterostomia and deuterostomians exhibits radial indeterminate cleavage what is the cleavage exhibited by him by these deuterostomes radial and indeterminate in determinate cleavage sir what is radial cleavage and what is indeterminate cleavage sir sir generally if the cleavage takes right angles to body axis a right angles to zygote axis for example this is zygote and this is axis of the zygote sir this is a zygote and this is zygote axis and if the cleavage is taking place right angle so cleavage is taking place right angles to body axis is called as radial symmetry okay so next what is indeterminate cleavage means in the indeterminate cleavage the fate of the blastomere is developed later determined later so here protostomians exhibits determinate cleavage means fate of the blastomeres is already decided whereas in the indeterminate cleavage the fate of the blastomeres is decided or determined later a delayed determination of the fate of the blastomeres takes place sir here only one subdivision is here how many subdivisions are there only one subdivision so that is enterocelomata entero celomata sir here only one subdivision that is entero celomata enteros means pouches enteros means pouches generally from the mesoder a small pouches are developed and these pouches are extended towards the anterior and posterior end so both of them were fused and forms body cavity sir for example sir this is ectoder and this is mesoder and this is endoder okay see here generally this is mesoder when a small pouch is developed so this is called as a pouch so when a small pouch is developed from it so this is a pouch and this pouch is slowly extended this pouch is slowly extended isn't it so when this pouch is extended so they forms two layer what happens when mesoderm splits when mesoderm splits it forms two layers so one is going towards the ectoderm and one is going towards the endoderm so this central space is called as body cavity central space is called as body cavity so here by the development of pouches formation of pouches from the mesoderm and extension or elongation of pouches and fusion of pouches at their end forms a body cavity that body cavity is the enterocelom the individuals with the enterocelom are called as enterocelomata and if you take the examples 
examples echinodermata echinodermata next hemichordata next chordata okay so enterocoelomata examples echinodermates hemichordates and chordata so here schizocoelomates schizocoelomates and enterocoelomates enterocoelomates are u coelomates are u coelomates sir these are also known as true coelomates so means schizo means real body cavity entero means also real body cavity but here splitting of mesoderm here development of pouches so in this way they are different but both of them are u coelomates schizo coelomates entero coelomates are collectively called as u or true coelomates so this is a classification of animalia kingdom sir entire animalia kingdom classified into two sub kingdoms parazoa eumetazoa these are without well defined tissues example porifera these are with well defined tissues example uh, it is again divided into two grades radiata bilateria radiates with the radial symmetry and they have two primary germinal layers example nidaria and tenophora next bilateria they have bilateral symmetry and three primary germinal layers are present and these are divided into two types based on the development of blastopore protostomia deuterostomia so here blastopore develops into mouth so that is why called as protostomia they exhibit spiral determinate cleavage and there are three subdivisions in the protostomia division a coelomates in which coelom is absent pseudo coelomate it is false coelom unreal coelom schizo coelomate real coelom formed by the splitting of mesoderm next deuterostomia deutero means secondary anterior opening of the blastopore develops into anus secondary opening develops into mouth they exhibit radial symmetry so radial uh, cleavage as well as indeterminate cleavage only one subdivision is there enterocoelomata enterocoelomata the development of pouches will form you body cavity example echinodermata hemichordata and chordata so enterocoelomates and uh, schizocoelomates collectively called as eucoelomates so this is a classification of the animalia kingdom